see. And here. Hi everyone. Today I'm gonna show you how to cook this uh, pork ribs. It's uh, 500 grams of pork ribs and I have here uh, this uh, size of red onion, five cloves of garlic. We need more garlic at this period and ginger. It's like one inch of this ginger and we slice this one afterwards and also a red onion and we need pepper, corn seed, pepper powder, sesame oil and salt and I have here our it's a tempura butter it's a um, mixed flour actually this one is for prawn it, we call it tempura and but I am using this one for my pork ribs okay I will repeat our ingredients red onion garlic ginger pep crushed pepper or pepper corn seed pepper powder sesame oil salt and of course our pork ribs okay first we prepared uh, 800 ml of plain water and boiled it and here's our pumpkin guys Mar marinated uh, pumpkin okay make sure it's the oil is hot and just uh, fry it <laughs> Sorry. look at that And our water is boiling now guys. What I'm going to do is to add our sliced onion and chop of garlic or just sliced garlic or our ginger and our salt, half spoon of salt and our Pork ribs, just oh, make sure it's uh, hot. It's quick and easy, guys, and our pumpkin it works together. Wow. Okay, let it simmer for about uh, 15 minutes. Okay, I have here our pumpkin. I cut into uh, just a thinly slice like this then marinate with I am using sesame oil and some half teaspoon of uh, salt add some pepper powder some soya sauce because it will would uh, turn into uh, black color your pumpkin just a sesame oil and crushed pepper pepper powder and some salt and I have here our two cloves of uh, chopped garlic just do it like this you marinate it with this uh, just a simple, quick and easy recipe, guys. And afterwards, I'm going to uh, deep fry this one. I'll just half cook of this pumpkin. A 
and look at that guys our pumpkin looks beautiful with uh, chopped garlic two cloves of chopped garlic crushed paper paper powder salt and sesame oil that's all Okay guys, our pork cream is ready now and make sure you have like this. It's easier to get this pork ribs. And put it here. Okay, and we don't uh, need this water. We discard this one. The soup, or we call it soup, right? Or the liquid, we won't um, need this one. Just discard this one, this liquid. Right. Okay, and it's here our pork ribs. And our, it's a tipung green flower tempura flower is a mixed flower and here it's a 150 grams of this uh, mixed flower tempura flower okay, it's here our pork ribs just pour it all and we mix this one like this Make sure your hands is clean. Okay, and just add a bit of uh, plain water. Okay, you want to add another 50 ml so it becomes 100 ml of water. Not enough. Okay. My hand is clean, don't worry. It's time to fry. It's here our coated pork ribs. Okay, I'm using this small frying pan. Make sure it's hot again. And I'm gonna add our cooking oil. It's 400 ml of cooking oil. I prepared to use a smaller uh, frying pan. So it's ready our pork ribs guys with coated with tempura flour mixed flour okay our cooking oil is ready now let's share our coated our pork ribs make sure that it's hot Quick and easy recipe to all mummies out there, especially now we're at home. And again, here's another quick and easy recipe. It's a pork ribs with a pumpkin. golden brown or pork ribs make sure it has a room for our dim to fry <laughs> look at that wow looks beautiful And we need to turn this one to the other side. Keep on watching. 
whether frying is on frying this. Okay, and it is ready now, uh, guys. Our pork ribs. Look at the color. It's a uh, golden brown color. Look at that. Looks perfect. And here, guys, are pork ribs with a deep-fried pumpkin with garlic. Look at that! Wow! Looks tasty! Make sure you could have this uh, recipe of mine. It's quick and easy. And affordable too. It's crunchy, wow. Sorry. And here's some pumpkin. Those pumpkin lover and pork ribs lover, here's your best recipe. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like, comments and subscribe. See you next time. Okay guys and here's our pork ribs with, I'm serving with this tomato ketchup it's a chili flavor and it's optional again if you like some mustard or a soy sauce whatever you have yeah perfect for dinner and we have dinner now our food is ready and you could uh, just dip it like this just get one, one rib and ribs and just dip it. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Looks perfect. And thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time.